Okay, so once we have glued all of our sand and we've trimmed off the extra that's hanging past your paper, and I see a little bit more I need to trim there. So you'll trim off all your extra brown paper that goes past your background paper and then throw those pieces away. So once that is complete, um, I will give you some seaweed paper. So if you remember, we did some painting on papers and there are some seaweed on the back that we are going to work on cutting. So carefully cut on that black line, going in that line that goes wavy or curved, and then it goes to a point at the top, and then we're going to carefully cut back down the other side of the seaweed. And you may have three pieces or four pieces of seaweed, and then we will get those ready. So there's one piece, and you can see now it looks like the shape of a seaweed. I'm gonna keep cutting these. So once you cut out all your seaweed, you wanna take your scraps and let's recycle those. And then you can see here that I have four pieces of seaweed. And next we wanna think about where we would like to glue those onto our paper. So the bottoms of the seaweed need to touch your sand because they grow out of the bottom of the ocean. So you could do them something like this where they sprout, um, or you could do two sections, maybe two over here and then two over here. So you decide how you want to put those on your paper. So we are gonna use our glue bottle. So if you remember, we're gonna turn it left to open it. And then you can see that the little piece in there goes down. And then we're going to flip over the back to the back side, shake the glue down to the tip. And then just like we did with the sand, we're doing tiny dots all along the seaweed, tiny dots. If you squeeze too much, it will make a big mess. So then this might be the hard part is picking it up and then we're going to flip it over and put it where we'd like it. And then do the next one. Okay, so some of mine are sticking up a little bit, so I'm gonna hold them down for a silent count of 10 so that they can stick better. And if it still is not sticking, just put a little more glue underneath your seaweed. And that way we have the seaweed started. And then we'll let that dry.